Hi friends, today we are going to start AutoCAD first class. So coming to AutoCAD, so first what is CAD? Computer Aided Design or Drafting. Next. What is my auto? So in AutoCAD, so CAD is a full form of this, right? Then come back to auto. Auto. What is my auto? So it's not automatic. Uh, the company auto desk. Starting four plus what the company has been introduced CAD. If you merge, we we'll get a AutoCAD software name. In the month of December 1982, first AutoCAD software has been launched. And AutoDesk company uh, is a software developer plus marketing persons for the AutoCAD. Next, next topic is unit conversions. So, unit conversions in unit conversions. So, first we go with meters. So, one meter is equal to how many feet? Feet means the symbol we get from ash or inches double F. Okay? And so first feet and inches. So in feet uh, it's a 3.28 feet. In inches 39.37 inches. And in centimeters, 1 meter equal to 100 and in mm it's 1000 mm now what is the 1 feet equal to how many inches 1 feet equal to 12 inches 1 inch is equal to how many centimeters 2.54 and in mm 25.40 ok I think you got some idea about unit conversions which we are going to use in AutoCAD. Okay. And next topic is coordinates. Coordinate systems. Uh, I think you are know quadrants Q1, Q2, and Q3 and Q4. Here, what are the X and Y coordinates? Plus, comma, plus, and here minus, comma, minus, and here minus, comma, plus, here plus, comma, minus, right? In in AutoCAD software, we have first plane is absolute, absolute coordinate system. Absolute coordinate systems. In this method, we enter x and y values directly. So if I have x value as 2 and y value is 5. Okay, so directly I can enter. So if you go with relative and polar. So this is a different. Here we use art and ash. Both we use art and ash. Before typing the x and y coordinates. Okay. So I think best option is absolute coordinate system. If you if you follow with absolute coordinate system, the drawing will be completed within less time. Okay. Next topic is. Uh, we go with Vasco. 
to draft any plan of commercial or residential, we need to have some rules. The rules we call it as some uh, pause words. Okay. So I will show you a uh, basic pause word. Now this is my north direction and this is south direction. This is east and this is west. This is the main direction. Coming to the corners, this is south east and this is north east, north west and south west. Okay. And in local languages, we call it as this corner as Agni. And this is Isha. And this is Y. And this one, Nayuti. Nayuti. And one more thing we have Brahmastha. So this concept you can see in Kerala. Okay, means a uh, given courtyard. Or you can see in malls also. Okay, the complete building at the center of the building will be opening space. So that we can call it as courtyard or uh, open to sky. Open to sky. Okay. Now, uh, now I have a side of forty feet. And this is my 30 feet. Now I want to make a plan. Okay. Uh, first, in northeast, I can give entrance. And second option will be Udaru. Third option will be uh, balconies. Next one, porch. And next one, foyer. Next one, children's bedroom. And study room. Study room. Okay. And coming to east also, we can give entrance. In east also, we can provide entrance and one more dining. Dining space. Okay. Coming to the southeast corner, first preference would be kitchen. Second preference would be toilets. Third, space. Fourth, utilities. And in north also, we can give like bedrooms. And stairs, etc. And coming to the southwest direction, first preference will be the master bedroom. Okay, and second preference is uh, locker rooms. See, providing the locker positions will be it should be either east facing or should be in a north position or north direction. Okay, so this area should be given. Okay. And next one, balcony. And next one, landscape designs. And etc. And coming to the northwest direction, first one will be like guest bedrooms. Second one, space. And here one more concept. If I have entrance in southeast corner, then my kitchen will be shifted to the northwest corner and in exact north direction we can give entrance and second one TV unit and like this so this is my planning ok if I want to uh, if I want to plan for a 30 40 side of G plus two floors, I can create in ground floor, I can provide entrance, puja room, and uh, dining space, and kitchen with toilet and staircase and utility. Coming to the first floor, I can do children's bedroom, uh, 
uh, and if you want, we can add library also. Okay, our study space. Like this, we need to create a plan. Okay. Now I know the rules. Okay. Now I want to create a planning AutoCAD. So first, what I have to do is unit setup. In AutoCAD. After unit setup, I need to uh, draw a plan. So we have a draw tools. In draw tools, first one will be line. Second one. One line, third one circle, fourth one arc, fifth one rectangle. In AutoCAD, we can select or we can give shortcut keys. Okay, here we have name and shortcut keys. So I cannot uh, need not to be enter line. Directly I can go with L enter. Okay. And for polyline, PL enter. For circle, C enter. For arc, A or C enter. For rectangle, so R E C enter. So I by using these tools, draw tools, I will make a plan. If I want to modify some changes in plan, then we have a tools. Of modifying tools. In modifying tools, first one will be move. Shortcut is M enter. Second one copy. C O enter. Third one rotate. R O enter. And fourth one trim. So here T R you need to select double and enters. The next one offset. It's O enter. Okay. So by using the draw tools and modify tools, we need to create planning AutoCAD. Okay. And today the session is completed. I will continue next class.